So what we need to do today is we need to take a look about how to find the volume of different types of shapes. We're going to look at three different shapes. Here's the cool thing. They've got a volume <clears throat> formula for each shape. So all you got to do is just know the formula. And you don't really have to memorize it because they will give you the formula. So all you got to do is figure out how the formula works and pull it out. So volume is the number of cubic units needed to fill up something. So if we put like ice cubes inside of this box right here, we'd be saying, well, how many ice cubes could fill it up? Of course, this is a pretty small box. It's 6.7 inches long, 5.3 inches wide, and 2.1 inches high. The basic idea for prisms, triangular prisms, and cylinders <clears throat> is the area of the base times the height. This is like a generic formula. All right. So let's go and take a look at this rectangular prism, it's nothing but rectangles and squares. And uh, you guys probably remember this from sixth grade. Do you guys remember this old guy? Length times width times height? Well, length times width is the area of the base. Okay, so that's not a big deal. So let's, let's go and color code this. So 6.7 is your length. What would your width be? Yeah, so 5.3 would be the width. And then what would the height be? So you're correct. It would be the 2.1 for the height. So all, honestly, all that you have to do to show this work in the correct fashion is restate your formula. That's a, a big thing for me. Can you please write down V equals LWH? Okay. And then uh, let's, let's go and, and write this one in. You agree that the length is 6.7 so we're going to put that one in. How about we put it in parentheses? What did you say the width was again? 5.3 and what was the height? Can you multiply these three numbers together and tell me what your answer is? And as you just told me 74.571 or 74 and 571 thousandths. Now what would your units be? This is inches times inches times inches so since we're multiplying three different inches, inches to the third power, or you could say cubic inches, either one. And that is how you find the volume of any rectangular prism.